I give it away for free. It says on the very first page, try and find a loophole in what I write here. That's, it, this book is free. That's right, free. Anyone who wants a copy, mail to his or her, her home, and no charge is welcome to one. Just ask. Author Chris Rodell, of course, encourages you to buy it and hopes you'll support him and the people who distribute, promote, and sell books. But if you're one of those Americans who are out of work and having a tough time, or if you know a U.S. serviceman or woman who might benefit from a book that aims to brighten daily lives, then email Rodell and get in touch at storyteller at chrisrodell.com. He doesn't believe a book that at its heart aims to help people be happy should be withheld from anyone over a few dollars. It's said the best things in life, love, friendship, and laughter are free, Rodell says. I don't presume this book is among the best things in life, but by God, there's nothing to say it can't keep good company. I've had more than 500 people request free books, and I, I fulfilled every one of them. Some of the best letters I've ever had in my life are from people that call and say, you know, I work all day, I'm a waitress, I'm working two jobs, and I got your book, and I sit at home at night with my daughter, and I read it, it makes me so happy. <laughs> That's just a wonderful thing to get. Now, the inspiration for that was when I was writing this book, I was also doing stories about Dr. Jonas Salk, now, we're all familiar with him. He saved the lives of so many people with his cure for polio. This, uh, two years ago, the Ebola scare was, was, was rampant here in America. You know how many people had Ebola in America? There were four. Now, in 1953, 3,589 kids died of polio, children, and 50,000 contracted the disease. Dr. Salk came up with a cure for that. Can you imagine that? 3,000 of our children died of and Dr. Salk came up with a cure for polio. And they said, well, what are you going to charge for this? What is the, the, how much are you going to charge for the patent? He said, there is no patent, because I'm giving it away for free. And they said, well, why wouldn't you patent me? Because can you patent the sun? What he was saying was, if you can do anything in this world to help people, to make it better for anyone else, by God, you have to do it. So I equate my, little, my, my book with, with the, the cure for polio. <laughs> I do that though, I say that facetiously, but I know people who have polio that are perfectly cheerful. And I also know people who are absolutely, perfectly physically fit specimens who are miserable bastards. And for whom do you think I feel the greater pity? I feel the greater pity for the people, who, for the soulless bastards. 